Good morning. I'm Trucker Rich. I'd like to welcome you to Trucker Rich Farming in PV County. <laughs> Like I said, I am Trucker Rich, and we are in PV County. By Dash Net is the creator of this map. This is going to be a Let's Play series. I've already spent a little bit of time getting our farm set up. If you're not familiar with PV County, it is a very large map. It is a 16x. This is the overview of the entire map. And our little world hovers right down here. Uh, if we turn this on, you can see what we own. We own the main farmhouse. And we've got four fields. There's some other property that I have purchased, including the government building down here. And I'll kind of explain that as we go through. Up here, I've already set up a sawmill because we're going to need it. And then I also own some mining up here at the top because we're going to need that material for our production. One of the big things about this particular map is it is farming slash production mining and logging so there is a lot to do and in this series of let's play we're just going to play not doing a role play nothing like that we're just going to play and have fun from time to time i'll have a guest on here to help me out because this is a lot of work so let's take a look off the bat of what we own so this is our current inventory you can see we have a, a flatbed trailer we'll use that quite a bit to haul material around then we own the sawmill paper factory we have two of those we have a plank factory two of those and um, pallet factory a couple uh board chippers that makes uh, essentially makes some um, uh yeah it's been one of those days basically the board factory chops up the boards and uh turns it into wood chips why i was having difficult with that i have no idea and then we have storage for all of our forestry products and then we also own a stone crusher an explosive shack and a shell fuel station that um, actually produces diesel fuel for us a couple uh, we have a grain silo and then we own some trailers some liquid trailers and these are the tractors that we're running we have a fent in two cases we have a couple uh big trucks although they're only day cabs but yeah whatever uh, we have a harvester, and then we have a, a T-Rex. And I'm going to warn you up front, I am not a uh, logger. Uh, when I need to cut a tree down, yeah, that's what I use. Yeah, granted, I don't get to keep the wood chips or the logs, but uh, I'm not good at logging. Maybe you'll see it in this series. <laughs> Maybe you won't. And then fertilizer spreader. We got a big M to cut grass. We have a grain trailer header for our harvester. This is our plow that we're using, the John Deere 2410. It's a big plow, 20 meters wide. And then we've also got the, her the horse cultivator, 12 meters wide. And here's our horse cedar. 
and then we have a loading wagon and then we have a scout which we'll use to um, take soil samples we are playing with precision farming we're not playing with seasons but we are playing with precision farming and then here's uh, some of the sheds that we own uh, we do have a fermenting silo to make silage and it also makes solid fertilizer we got a vehicle workshop and then we've got some buy points for seed and fertilizer and that kind of stuff and then our farmhouse so that's basically what we own kind of give you a tour of how we've got things set up here is the farmhouse obviously here's all of our grain silos Here's our fermenting silo to make silage, and currently we've got 720,000 liters of silage in uh, what 200,000 liters of fertilizer to get us started. I don't think, yeah, this is all part of the grain silo, which you'll become familiar with if you watch this series. And here's another, a shed. Nothing's actually stored in it right now. And we've got this long shed. And in here, if we open up the door, you'll see our harvester along with our two 18 wheelers, one hooked to the flatbed and one hooked to the uh, grain trailer. So I'll close that down. And we'll come over here where all of our Tractors are stored. We open this up. You'll see the two uh, cases right here. And then our vent and our big M. So that's what we stored there. And then here's our plow. That thing is so big I can't get it into a storage shed. And then this is where we're start storing our, basically all of our implements. <coughs> Cultivator, the cedar, and then our scout. And down here, you can see our loading wagon underneath that shed. Our uh, buy points for seed and fertilizer. And our little um, maintenance shack is right there and then in here is our fertilizer and there's our fertilizer it does both solid and liquid so we can do either one which is gonna become quite interesting here shortly um, come over here and show you the shell plant and the stone crusher and of course the explosive shack so here's the uh, the stone crusher and by putting in stones it crushes it and then what we get out is um, we input diesel and it creates our stones, and then we load the stones up, and we get lime, gypsum, calvin car calcium carbonate, and limestone. And apparently everything needs to be started. We haven't done that yet. And there's one of our tankers over there. And then here's our diesel manufacturing facility and right now we've got 23,785 liters of diesel but we're gonna need a lot more and then of course over here is the explosive shack and then we'll head up north uh, yeah we'll head up north first and I'll show you the sawmill and how that's all set up and then we'll come back and look at our field so i will switch this over there we'll be right back all right up here at the sawmill 
This is the main plant. Produces our boards, resin, and wood chips. And uh, we input coal and logs. And of course we get, like I just said, wood chips, resin, and boards. And then there's one of our board choppers. On the other side of that is a paper mill. Paper mill takes in water and wood chips and then essentially creates us paper. Um, those are two of our tankers we'll need up here. One for water, one for resin. This is a, these two right here are for planks. Input boards and it produces planks. And then this is our pallet manufacturing. Input boards and get out pallets. And then this side is set up the same way, a wood chipper into our um, paper mill. So again, input water and boards and get paper out. And then once we've produced everything we need to produce, we can, we have a storage facility over here. Or we can take the boards or the planks or the paper and even wood chips, store it over here. Store them as raw product and get them out as containers. So this is where everything will be stored for the forestry products. All right, so let's head back down to the main farm and we'll check out our fields. All right, we're back at the main farm. Go we'll check out our fields. Like I said, we've got four of them. This field is coffee. And then we have another coffee field over here. And both are still growing, so they are not ready to harvest. And then we have a grass field. Basically, field 49 is our grass field. Uh, it looks like it's ready to harvest. So 49 is our grass field, and then 44 is our wheat field. Which is over here. Now, I'm sure as uh, time goes on, we will get more fields. So here's our wheat field ready to harvest. Like I said, I'm sure as time goes on, we'll get... Uh, more fields, but I figure to start with, four will be plenty. Like I said, there's a lot of things that need to be done on this particular farm, or this particular map, if you want to play it to its potential. Lots of production, uh, which I think is kind of fun. So I think what we'll start with, do this real quick. Let's get this stone crusher going. So if we come over here and click on stones, tell it to spawn the maximum, which is seven pallets, although they're not really pallets. Lines our stones up right here. This thing, all we have to do is pick them up. Throw them in. I know this is uh, very exciting stuff. But stuff that has to be done. We want to produce what we want to produce. Everything is kind of tied together. Obviously, you can use lime for your fields. I think uh, 
some of the other stuff that this thing produces you use for the other stuff so actually I'll show you what that's doing yeah it's just gonna push it up to the top you can see the stones up there you push it into the crusher you can see the numbers getting bigger so that first round gave us what 175,000 liters of stone so we'll spawn some more do seven more and that should be back by now get these seven in there and then we'll have one more round of this and then we'll have spawned all of the stones we can and you don't have to spawn these up in the northern area of this map there are some tunnels and once you create some dynamite you can take that dynamite and go open up those tunnels byproduct of that is going to be these stones and gravel which at some point we will do uh, we're just not quite ready for that uh, there are also I believe 10 bridges we have to build yeah see that time we only got six so we'll have to manufacture the items we need to build those those bridges so basically you need steel you need concrete barriers you need concrete and I believe that's it seems like there was one more thing but I can't remember off the top of my head right now so we have to produce the steel we have to produce the concrete and the barriers and then once we have enough of that produced we can take that up to whichever bridge that we want to build and build the bridge so right now we're essentially I'll show you real quick we're isolated oh sorry wrong button we are on the center island you can get up into this area but there's some tunnels and some other bridges you got to build to get up to the very top that bridge right there you have to build uh, there's already a bridge there but to get over into this section you have to build bridges to get into this area you have to build bridges and of course to get over here you got to build bridges as well so when i can we'll run to the government building and i'll show you the map of all the bridges that we have to build and basically that's what our first production goal will be is to get those bridges up and running so then we have access to the entire map there are some tunnels we have to clear out like i was saying a minute ago uh, but first priority is bridges so that's what our production focus will be and then of course at the same time we're going to be doing farming first thing we need to do is get harvesting the wheat so we'll want to collect the uh, the wheat and we'll store it in our silo we don't really have any need to hold it so we'll probably sell it uh no i want this screen so let's see who's selling wheat so we got four places we can take it uh no five places yeah we can reach all those places so there's five places it looks like the high price right now is 816 at the restaurant so that's not bad for wheat 
And we said we're also growing, which isn't ready to harvest yet. Be growing coffee. And coffee, it sells really good. Problem is, is these first ones right here, yeah, we can't reach. Bridges aren't built. So Port Fitzgerald right now is the highest at 1309. But of course that'll all change as time goes on. So I think the first thing we shall get doing. So we'll just go ahead and start harvesting that wheat field. Once we get the wheat field harvested, because we are using precision farming, then what we're going to want to do is take soil samples of that field. So then we know uh, what our pH level will be, what our nitrogen level will be, and add the proper chemicals to bring them up. But I think that'll be after, obviously be after we harvest. So we'll uh, jump into our new Holland and fire this baby up and get him to harvesting. Now I'm not going to sit here and harvest this. I'm going to put it on a worker. Uh, I could. I just don't feel like it though. So we'll run this out to this field here. I guess we'll just stop right here and get this thing all set up. Go ahead and get the header put on. There we go. get that folded up well it says unfold but really it's folding it up get those wheels off that header okay so we'll get him going Yep, we have our swath. We'll want to pick up that straw. So we can put that in the fermenting silo and uh, turn it into silage. And that silage we can use to create diesel fuel. Because right now we do not own a bio plant. We can't get to any of them. So we're going to let this go, and once he gets done, I'll bring you back in, and we'll see what the next chore is, which I think will be taking soil samples out of this field. I think that'll be the next thing we do. So instead of you agonizing through it, I'll bring you back once we get it done. So for you, we'll be back in a second. For me, it's going to be a little while yet. All right, I thought I'd bring you back real quick. Uh, he is still working on harvesting. But because of the fact that it's just me, we are going to have to multitask. So while he's harvesting... I am going to start picking up the straw. You can see he's only gotten that's his second row. We'll wait for him to get turned around. Also stage the grain truck and trailer to un offload him once he's done. I don't anticipate getting a very high yield off of this field. Um uh, 
because this is the first harvest since I started this game, so there's probably no fertilization whatsoever on that field. I won't really know until I take the soil samples, but I'm sure there is nothing on this field. So we'll come through, collect this straw, so then we can, like I said, put it in the fermenting silo, silo and create silage out of it. We don't really need it for animals yet, because we don't have any. In fact, the there is a, uh, a cattle farm and a horse farm part of the map but those are both isolated until we build some bridges so for now we are not going to do any animals but at some point we will but that's going to be a while yet as the fact that uh, like I said we got to get those bridges built up so while he's harvesting, I'll pick up the straw. And once we get all this done, I'll bring you back in and let you know what we collected out of this field. So we'll be back shortly. Now, as you can see, we're not quite done yet, but I thought I'd bring you back in because I got thinking. You guys have no idea who I am. Unless you happen to be watching my other series. Where I did kind of introduce myself. I am Trucker Rich. And the reason I am called Trucker Rich is my real job. I am a truck driver. And as I'm recording this episode, we are sitting... In a truck stop, I am on my laptop in the sleeper playing Farm Simulator. And I thought it would be fun uh, to record what I was doing, both in this series and my Midtown USA series. So my Midtown is more of a role play. This is just going to be a fun let's play. I want to try to do at least one episode a week of this and one episode a week on the Midtown. Uh, if I can do more, I will. But you have to realize that sometimes internet access for me gets a little bit on the tricky side. So, I have to uh, kind of adjust for that. Uh, I do have a house. So, I can upload episodes when I go to the house. Which is usually about every other week. Sometimes three weeks. But, try to record enough that uh, if I have to, I can wait till I get home. And upload them or sometimes I can get good internet and upload them on the road so I thought I'd bring you back for that let you realize who I am and what this is about if you like this series or my Midtown series be sure to subscribe ring the little bell to get notified when I do upload like I said, uh, I'm going to try to uh, do one, one a week on each series. And uh, if you like this episode, then hit the like button. And leave a comment. Let me know. What do you want to see? What do you don't want to see? Especially on this particular series, there's a lot to be done. So if there's something you uh, are really interested in seeing, then let me know. I will do my best to uh, accomplish that for you.
Like I said, this one being a let's play, we can pretty much do whatever it is we want. So I'll uh, finish getting this stuff done and bring you back once we get it done. We are done with the harvest. We only got 130,321 liters of wheat. This is the first time I've had to dump it. So not a lot. But then again, I didn't expect a lot because of the fact that really we haven't anything to the fields. And I went ahead and put the straw in here. And we ended up getting 538,759 liters of straw. I think that's quite a bit. So what we're going to do is keep... Uh, keep those numbers so that um, we can compare it to when we uh, prep the field under the precision farming uh, we'll be able to compare what we harvested today with what we'll harvest next time all right I need to clean up this harvester get it cleaned up. See how dirty that thing got? So we will clean it up, put it away, and I do like my equipment clean, so I think uh, most of us do. So I'll clean this up real quick and then uh, Put it away and then what we're going to do is get our soil samples out of that field. Probably we'll not have enough time to do anything about it today, but at least start getting it collected. And... Once we have it collected, then we can start working on prepping that field. So, I don't, well, we, the grass field is ready to harvest, but I'm not overly concerned about it right now. That's the only field that we had ready was that wheat field and that grass field. But. Um, like I said, I'm not worried about that grass field right now. I'll close these doors up. Not that anybody's going to come in and steal them, but make it look nice. And then we'll come back out here to this field. And I'll show you what I'm doing for soil samples. I'm sure you've seen this before. If you haven't, then I'll show you real quick. Of course, I'm going to just go ahead and go do it. Not make you sit and watch the whole thing. Ended up buying this little John Deere side-by-side. -side. It's a neat little thing. And, uh... I'll unfold this and then you can see there's a little uh, oh yeah we gotta start this thing so there's a little circle around on that map oh you can't see it that way so you can see that little circle and basically what we want to do that's a 25 meter circle Lower this down. Oh, if I'm hitting the right buttons, that would help. Lower that down, and then we'll take a soil sample. And if we move along, you'll see now that it'll show that that section has been sampled. 
if we bring up the F1 menu, you'll see at the bottom of that menu how many samples we've taken, and so far, obviously, just one. And now it's at two, so you'll see that number increase. So we'll do this for the entire field. Get it sampled. And then... Once we're done, we'll send the samples in and wait for it to come back, which doesn't take too long. So I'll carry on with this, get them collected, and then uh, I'll bring you back when I'm done. So I'll be back here after a bit. All right, taking our last soil sample on this field. And as you can see, we have taken 100, or I'm sorry, 41 samples. Let's raise this up, fold it down, and then we're gonna send these off. Yeah. Confirm that we want to send it off. Now we wait. Should cost us about $4,100 to get those samples analyzed on the economy that we're using, which is normal. It's $100 per sample. If you're playing easy mode, it's only $50. And if you're playing hard, then it's a hundred and fifty dollars because we're on five times it shouldn't take very long for those to come back and then we can see which yep and they're back already although I anticipate this field having problems but you know that's what it is so we come over here and we are working with sandy loam and ph is okay it needs to be better but we'll fix that nitrogen yeah it's like at zero it's bad yeah, i don't have yield that was real low We'll see what happens once we uh, do it. Get this uh, this field done the way it should be. So that was painless, somewhat. We got it done. So now all I'm gonna do is start prepping that field. And I think, uh, well, the first thing we'll do is plow it. Plow it up. And then we'll put some lime on it. And once we get the lime on there, then we'll cultivate it and we'll start fertilizing it. So, just our normal steps. But I think that's going to do it for this time. Well, thank you for joining me today. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. And if you subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. And uh, until next time, have a good day. Thank you.